Hello, Steve Dotto here. I'm glad you're joining us today for this next installment of growing your YouTube channel to 100,000 subscribers. Today, we're going to debrief from a social media conference that I was at and uh, in some of the thoughts that are rattling through my melon from uh, uh, spending a, a few days with uh, people that are just super engaged, super excited about the whole world of social media. The, the conference was called uh, Social Media Camp, it was in Victoria, BC, and uh, about 600 people, and it was an awesome experience. Some great speakers, and I'll fill you in a little bit on what happened uh, as we move along today. Uh, but before we begin, a quick shout out to all of our Patreon supporters. Dottotech is supported by the community that watches and values our content, uh, and they do so through a crowdfunding site called Patreon. If you are interested in uh, in seeing exactly uh, how we are how we're supported, or you might be interested in supporting us yourself, uh, drop by and have a look at our Patreon page. For as little as a dollar a month, you can make sure that this content continues to flow free and unabated into your uh, onto your computer screen or your mobile device or wherever. However you happen to be watching us. So I appreciate it if you consider taking a look at becoming a Dotto Tech supporter on Patreon. Ah, uh, this week, man, oh man. I, uh, as so often happens, I, have you ever been to one of these conferences, a social media conference or any one where you have a lot of different experts and people in the same space together? Uh, I'm amazed how much I learn. You know, I, I think I'm a, a lifelong learner. I, and I concentrate on gathering as much information I can because I have to, because I dispense so much information in, in the video channel here. But, but when I go to these conferences, I realize sometimes how narrow my focus gets. That's one of the things that kind of has humbled me a little bit in this particular, uh, this particular conference was I went because I've been so hyper-focused on the YouTube space and a little bit on uh, Facebook, more for marketing than anything else. And, but really hyper-focused on YouTube and it just came home to roost at how much I'm limiting the potential of the channel, of this YouTube channel, of growing my YouTube channel, uh, by concentrating all my efforts on that particular channel. Uh, I had an interesting conversation with a, a gentleman named Patrick Novotny. I'll, I'll, I'll pull up his, uh, his website here for you. Uh, Patrick, uh, or his YouTube channel, Patrick does bow ties or ties. He teaches people how to tie ties. That's his YouTube channel and he's awesome at it. He's got the most, he's got the most wickedly sick different tying meta, uh, uh, videos online to make yourself just, if you want to have a conversation starter, tie one of Patrick's fancy ties. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but Patrick and I were having a chat one evening and, and uh, the, uh, the, a penny dropped for me. He was talking about adding additional content and the sorts of things that he should be adding to his channel to continue to grow his channel. And it's a valid conversation. I mean, adding new rich content other than his core content is certainly worth looking at. But I thought, holy cow, Patrick, wouldn't it be better to spend more time and energy growing, uh, exposing the great content you have? Because the thing is, he's got this great content already sitting there. Um, let me just look him up while we're talking here. Um, he's got this great content, Patrick Novotny, there he is. So he's got this great content already online. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be something if, if, you, if, you, if you just shone a brighter light on your existing content rather than worrying about adding new content? But, but, but there's so many people who haven't seen what you have to offer that you should be reaching out to. Uh, so rather than create new content, Instead, reach out to more people. And oh, he's got autoplay on. Good for you, Patrick. Uh, so he's got. So in, instead of instead of uh, trying to create more content, make sure you reach out to more people. And then I kind of took a. As I was walking back to my hotel that evening, I thought, well, that's the pot calling the kettle black, Dotto. Because I'm going through the exact same spin in my mind, thinking, what can I do on YouTube? What can I do more on YouTube to grow my channel here? And I'm not thinking about what I can do on other social media platforms to engage and draw people to my YouTube channel. So as I think about all of the things that I learned at this conference, and there were a lot, the one thing that kind of really resonates and, I, and it kind of the truism that I feel that I'm pulling from it is I should be mastering and learning as much as I can about all of the other channels, seeing where they fit in my space not counting my space, of course, although maybe I'm even, we should even look at that, uh, but where they fit in for me and, and concentrating on honoring those channels and making sure that I'm reaching out to those communities and telling them or engaging with them and giving them the opportunity to discover us through their own, through their own channels. Does that make sense? I think it does. So 
in it, that conversation came after I'd already had my eyes opened to Instagram. Uh, now Sue B. Zimmerman is known as the Instagram gal. She was a she is a force of nature. I can assure you. Uh, you you through this video, you'll probably start to follow her. You will learn more than you ever thought you could learn about Instagram from this woman. And here, another one of my biases was was just <laughs> laid waste to. Uh, I didn't think Instagram was much more than a curiosity, to be honest with you. I thought serious social media was Facebook and uh, Twitter to a certain extent, and certainly YouTube to a big extent, at least in my in my world. But listening to Sue talk and then having her walk me through uh, how Instagram can be used to grow communities, uh, both terrestrial business and online business really opened my eyes to, to how limiting I, I've been uh, in looking at some of these other medias. Now, we'll be exploring, uh, I'll be getting into some detail of the things that, that Sue taught uh, as we go along and in future videos along this way. But Instagram is just one of the other networks that we really have to pay attention to. So, it does, so if you are a person that doesn't necessarily get Instagram or get Twitter or get even LinkedIn, if they aren't social networks that resonate in your experience, we tend to dismiss them as irrelevant for us and not valuable to our channel. I think we're shortchanging ourselves dramatically by doing that. So spending some time in these channels and truly understanding them, getting, investing enough time to really get a handle on them and then figuring out ways that they can work for your, for, for coming back to your YouTube channel is I think probably the best marketing time that we can spend. So for me, rather than trying to create a whole bunch of new content, I mean, I'm producing enough content right now. If I look at my daily list, I'm publishing pretty much one new piece of content every day and it's pretty good. So, and I'm sitting there scratching my head, trying to figure out what more content can I produce? What more, uh, air, how many more areas can I go into? It's wrong headed. Instead, continue to produce the same good, compelling content that, 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 is, that is working for us as well. Grow the channel by reaching out into other channels and engaging with them and then drawing them back to our YouTube channel. That is a strategy which I think I'm going to be following now for the next little while. So now the choice is, do you do a shotgun and attack all of the channels at once or do you pick them off one at a time? And I'm in the middle of a decision right now. I've met Sue B. Zimmerman and she, as I said, is a force of nature and she's agreed to coach me and help me with, uh, with Instagram. So that is a no brainer. I'm going to spend, I think probably six weeks, a month, six weeks, really diving deep into the Instagram and in, into Instagram and seeing if, how I can figure out how to use it, leverage it, build a community within it and bring it back to YouTube and then remain engaged with it. And then what the monthly investment or the daily investment in Instagram is going to have to be in order to maintain that market. And then the next one I think that I'll probably look at is uh, Pinterest. Having thought about our business, and, and certainly uh, this also came from the conversations with Patrick, looking at his his, his Thai channel, is, uh, the, is Pinterest is such a visual environment. And when I look at the demographic of who follows our YouTube channel, which YouTube gives me some really good solid information on, uh, about 70% of our fans are males over the age of 45. Um, but I don't think, I think I appeal to the over 45 demographic, but I don't think it's just to males. I think women over the age of 45 would, would watch our, uh, videos a lot as well. Having said that, they aren't as exposed to it because right now I concentrate a little bit on Facebook, but mainly on YouTube for marketing. They're in Pinterest. So if I move over to Pinterest, will we see engagement growing? And what I'll look for really interesting is if that ratio between male and female drops. Uh, and so the male dominance for our channel starts to become uh, a little more, uh, a little more normalized. So that'll be a fascinating thing to take a look at as we move ahead. But I'm probably four or five months away from a Pinterest really having a big effect on this channel. The first thing that we're going to try to have an effect on our subscription uh, base and our engagement is, is Instagram. And as I say, I learned that from, uh, from having my eyes open by going to these, to the, to this event. Um, you know, if <laughs> I do a lot of speaking at events and so consequently I often fly in and out, uh, where, when I can, I stick around. This was an event that I stuck around at the whole time and I got so much out of it. If you're thinking about, you know, I, in some 
areas, the, the, the thought process that these conferences, because of how much information we can find online, these conferences are declining in value. Uh, boy, you know, being into social networking, which we are on YouTube, being into social networking, let's remember what that first, what those words are, social and networking. Doing it online is all fine. Uh, but there's still so much more engagement, so much more commitment, so much more potential out of sitting down and having a coffee or a beer with somebody that's in the same space uh, and, and then reflecting, seeing your product reflected in their eyes and hearing what they have to say. Uh, tremendous, tremendous value. I hope that you found uh, this video today to be useful to you. If you have, please consider joining our little community. Uh, there are three ways that you can tie into the whole Dotto Tech brand. The first is subscribing to this channel, which I hope you have done. If not, please subscribe. Uh, we are, after all, on a mission to reach 100,000 subscribers, so your subscription counts. Secondly, if you're interested, uh, sign up for our newsletter. Our newsletter goes out once a week and it's a digest of all of the videos that we produce. Uh, but it also lets you know of any workshops or webinars that I'm going to be delivering and lets you get on that list early so you are not disappointed. Finally, the, if you are so inclined, please visit the Patreon page and see if you might be interested in becoming a supporter of Dotto Tech on Patreon. Uh, I'm not going after big brands to pay for this uh, site. Instead, I, um, I have a little bit of AdSense revenue and I've got uh, people like yourselves who are supporting us through Patreon. Uh, as little as a dollar a month, uh, five cents a video, as far as the, the breakdown by video, makes a huge difference. Not only is it a massive vote of confidence that you're willing to, uh, that you're willing to support us, but it also is financial support, which we need to make sure that we can continue to produce this content. That's it for today. I am out of here. I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle.